Hello, welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. Uh, last time we took on Lord Radrix. Lord Radrix. Well, bleh, I cannot speak. Lord Radrix and took down his tyrannical rule after getting the help of Kana, the Chanta here. Came back, sold pretty much everything that we could. Just double checking. I gotta remove these. And do something with them. <laughs> uh, that's all staying because those are ingredients, those are key items. Yeah, the grim work will come out too. That's good. But uh, yeah, that's uh. Whose grimoire is this? By the way. Ah, it's hers. Which is very different from yours. So I'll put it in your bar there. And missiles. What do I need? Beer. <laughs> That's all I need. <laughs> you can use some meats. I have to cook all this somehow. I'm just setting them up so they're ready to go. I can skin, that'll be good for you. A lot of the stuff I should probably sell, to be fair. Uh, can I craft any of it? Inventory, character, journal. Oh, crafting, right there. I'm dumb. Food. Beef loaf, fire spray, pro wood chicken, stew. Let's make some. Beef loaf and chicken, because why not? There we go. Any potions I can make? Wizards double, fleet feet. I can only make. Okay. Um. be good. So would a push no power. Just double checking to make sure I can't go back. Second level scrolls, third. I'm just double checking to make sure I can't cast anything else. I don't think I can cast any of these yet. Alright. Inventory is already full, mm -hmm. but that's all right. Now we're gonna hit up. Uh, K no or K no, or however you say it. <laughs> I can get through that area. Seems I have to go this. I can realistically go out anywhere. Hold on. I don't have to go out there, <laughs> just that side specifically. I can go up there and make my way that way. Yeah. One day. Except. my formation. Okay. Wait, 
Once more go. through the gates. With more success this time, I hope. Brave Dalfilathili. Starting off with a bang. Are we done? There we go. Uh, let's see. Great lakes are open with a few foot chips scatter across the workbench. Clear in the yard before I do anything else. I just gonna shake a huge. That's done. I don't think there was anything inside here. It's a good check. Just getting the books really Okay. <coughs> I should really. I'll see what I can find. Yeah. Just to see. So there might be nothing. There might be something. You just don't know unless you look. Nope. Okay. Yeah, it's just empty. Alright. Back outside. Grave Dalfilathili. <laughs> I think just got annihilated. Grave thou feelot you leave. Grave thou feelest your leave. If you into what? <laughs> into the gun? I don't even know. Grave thou feelest your leave. Okay. How may I help? Is that the whole yard? It looks like it. All right. Hmm. Leave our 
our village! We've done nothing to you! You can't do this! Okay. Uh, let's see. This is our village! Our home! The Nine Claws have lived here almost 50 generations! We were here long before your kind brought war to our lands! You can't just burn it all! Sure we can. <laughs> have mercy, soldier! Our warriors have all gone! <laughs> you can't burn us all because of them! He doesn't even smile to say something, but all it emerges is a series of violent coughs. Also, you should really think we smoke. Flames are taking vision back away. Okay. Clearly of a deer and make. They like their archways. <laughs> Brave Dalfilathili. Jesus. <laughs> oh, there's more in here. All right. Brave Dalfilathili. Is there any more surprises? Whoa. As you come to the end of the Great Hall, you perceive an inviting warmth radiating from a grand throne wrought out of marble. Its masterful artis artistry had of place amidst the castle's more practical stonework. The veiled face of a woman is carved above the throne's backing, watching over the room with hollow eyes. As you approach, you feel the warmth fluctuate. As though stirring, the voice rings out from the curving, permeating the fortress through stone and air. Another watcher in Cadnua, Cad glowing very brightly indeed to these eyes. What strange happenstance. Who is that speaking? I'm sorry if I startled you. I'm afraid my manners have been slipping. I haven't had much opportunity for introductions lately. In any case, I assume you're here looking for Meerwald. Tell me more about Meerwald. He was a great man. He came here one day, young with long hair and polished armor, and he banished the dark things that had come to lurk in this place after centuries of neglect. He could see the beauty of this place, <coughs> the way it had been. So he claimed it for his own when no one else would take it. We worked together to restore it. But he began to grow distant some time ago. He never told me why. He retreated deeper and deeper into the keep, never leaving, sending servants for food, hiding himself from my sight. The restoration stopped. Now, to look at the place, you'd never know the progress we've made. In most places, it's worse than it ever was. And all I can do is watch it crumble around me. And in your record, find Merowald. I can feel his presence faintly somewhere deeper inside the keep. But he uses his gifts to confound me, and my senses are dulled while he does so. I only wish I could know his mind. Are you imprisoned in that throne? Imprisoned? At times it feels that way, I suppose. But it's more that I reside here. The throne was brought up from the ruins. One of the first things they found. As a last favor to a dying woman, the Earl arranged for me to be moved into it. Audra is an accommodating vessel for a soul. Oh, it's not as confining as it seems. I can feel the whole keep from here, and all things that are tied to it. There's something about this throne and its construction. Or maybe it's something about this place. Alright, let's go. Take care in your search. Many dangers lie in wait here. Let's go find Merwald after we find nothing. <laughs> wow. Been out playing soldier again, have we? 
Go wash up and come help me shuck these peas. Turns me longer bruise a basket that, like her, is shimmering and semi transparent. And no complaints, you gotta eat your vegetables if you want to grow strong and be a real soldier one day. Just like we agreed, right? Uh, see nothing. Soldiers are important people. They defend the weak and punish the wicked. You're too young to understand now, but there are lots of wicked people. People like the man who murdered your father. Remind me what happened to uh, my father. Before you were born, the Glan <coughs> Fathers attacked settlers like us. They said we'd knocked over some of their special Adra rocks. That's why they call it the Broken Stone War. They got very angry, and so they came into our villages and killed many people. Your father was one of them. I see. That's why you'll be a soldier one day. To protect and to avenge. Why don't you go back out and play? I'll finish up here. Let's go. Let's grip. There are so many spotters. How am I so low? Let's go. Yeah. And spotters are dead. New orders, Lieutenant. Ready your squad. Spectrum man. Arrayed in armor and an officer's cloak studies a single sheet of paper. You can see straight through it to the decal in uh, the idiot's insignias on the breast on his breastplate. He seems to read over the page several times before looking up at you. When he does, his expression is unreal. There's been a change of plans. <coughs> oh, fuck. Take your squad and march south all the way to the bow in the river. Bring a wagon team and a dozen barrels of pitch. So he's faltering and shakes his head and holding hand holding people drops to his side. Tell me about the orders. The instructions come from Admet Hadred himself, which means they might as well have come from the Duke. We're to burn those hut dwellers out. Set fire to the Deerwood so they've nowhere to retreat. Cut them down when they come out. Or let them blaze if they won't. Jesus. It'll make this even shorter than the Broken Stone War, all right. And we can only hope it'll discourage future conflicts. I know this is personal for you. It is for many of us. But understand, we're doing this to end this war, not to continue the last one. Remember that we're flushing out the enemy, not burning villages for sport. Bareth will have his work cut out for him tonight. Right. Yeah, just burn down an entire village. It's not for sport or anything. It's only because the Duke said so. We'll take those farmers by surprise. Excuse me? Almost time. Di and Heather scouted the village last night. They're rounding up the rest of the party now. What party? Don't worry. Everyone remembers the raid was your idea. The Rio had to go along with it after you got the rest of the clan riled up. No one wants it said that the Nine Claws were too cowardly to stand with the rest of the tribe when the foreigners desecrated our ruins. I see. The tribes need more leaders like you. Women who value deeds over words. But I'm not a woman. You were right. <laughs> too soft when the foreigners first came and now they humiliate us 
We'll be soft no more, and the invaders will learn to leave us alone once and for all. Can I get to see what I can do? The work of a moment. I can. No. Keep away from us. Leave us. Okay. Maybe we should come back later. <laughs> he looks over his hand, the muscles around his eyes twitching, and begins whispering to himself in sharp hisses, as though having an argument. All at once, he stops shaking. The sudden calmness falling over him. His head tilts forward slightly, and he looks you dead in the eye, like a cornered animal about to pounce. His voice turns suddenly raspy. Mayor Wald isn't here. <gasps> and he isn't fooled. He has sent for no callers. Be gone, deceiving spirit. Let's go with this one. I'm a watcher, a minute woman, and don't fail who thought you could help me. Mayor Wald will speak with you, but you will maintain your distance, or you'll have me to answer to. Come to speak to Mayor Wald. Mayor Wald, whose touch is poison. Mayor Wald, who knows not his effect. Okay. I was told I'm a watcher. Now you can help tell me more about it. The buddy, uh... Tablet of some worth after that, once you two are finished, of course. A window. Window to the ether <coughs> where spirits dwell. Hear and reach into it. Speak and listen through it. A watcher sees souls, reads them, knows their pasts. Souls of the living, souls of the dead. An empath. And the souls see them back. Used it to help beings in both realms, did I. What the gods wanted of me, thought I. The gods put me in the world for vengeance, and I obliged. It was the gods' wishes that we protect those lands. My way was the only way to remove the foreigners. Little I knew. I was accosted by spirits on my way here. What did they want? No! No! Forgive me! Forgive me! Oh, he's lost his mind. Lost? <laughs> oh. Found more of it. Too much. Too much to bear. An awakening. Look at a simple awakening driving to this. I don't. I. I'm stupid. I know nothing. But what's an awakening? Many lifetimes <laughs> we have. Souls into womb and exit corpse. Carry with them all experiences, all knowledge, all identities. Yet we do not remember. Hidden from us. What end? What end? Only the gods know. Certain things can stir memories from lives long buried. Awaken the old memories. The old personalities. Memory. Personality. Identity. Any might resurface. Or all. I think we have our conversation with some of them right now. Ghosts of the mind. Mayowald has lost control. Mayowald's body no more. The spirits are past. What are they? Spirits and not spirits. Always whispering to Mayowald, reminding him of his mistakes. No sleep. Watchers see memories before them, form them from the essence of their own souls. Once Mayor Wald awakened, he could not make them leave. Gave them more form, not less. The spirits of memories from previous lives? Troubled memories. Angry memories. Pulling Mayor Wald back, reminding him his mistakes. Marauder and soldier. 
soldier and marauder. How could they know? Why do they still trouble you? My fault. Oh, my fault. Soldier and marauder. Soldier and marauder and Mayor Walt. No forgiveness for what's past. No undoing what's done. No sleep. No sleep for the Watcher. War there was all around. War of stone. War of tree. It's talking about two different wars fought back to back long time ago. Broken Stone War and the War of Black Trees. Usual conflicts between locals and settlers getting out of hand, both of them. Some folks are still bad about one side to the other. Death we brought to the settler men. We the Nine Claws. Claws of Nine. Worse what we did to the women. For love of the gods. The gods love. For their love. I met one of your memory spirits. There was talk of a raiding village. Earl's voice becomes raspy and he is somewhere else in place and time speaking of someone unseen. Hold her down. Head her. Give this out of your bitch an air that belongs an air, Glodfath. <laughs> Marowan cringes, cringes himself again, watching something he can't seem to fit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> His soul is marked by flame, and those marks will never heal. His trial has broken him, but better than to live in weakness. You are a monster. The boy. The boy. The baby boy, the boy, conceived in the raid, conceived by force, vessel for Marauder, slain in the raid, Marauder and the boy, Marauder and soldier. Baby conceived by the raider. For the soul, a Marauder's soul, same soul, one soul, boy's soul. Marauder's soul, raised in lies and vengeance. Raised to soldier. Raised for the fire. Born for the fire. And that was his mother I met in the keep. She told me his father was killed by raiders. You'll get no pity from me. The crimes of the Nine Claws clan in the last war are still unavenged. But the gods are just. They have led me here. In my father's name, every one of you will burn. Light it. Burning his own, and why not if they have been wicked and earned their punishment? He is weak of mind and soul to see him cower before the flame that should give you the measure of him. So Slumpsy rocks back and forth agitated, he mutters to himself, oblivious to your presence. Soldier and marauder, lies and vengeance. And dead villages. All dead. All dead. What for? What for? Your soul is given to wickedness. The only question is why the Scots will tear it How apart. How little we know. How you tell. This this goes straight to Watcher stuff. Oh, no. No, no. You too. You too. Poor man, poor man. They will take you too. What looks like it isn't being surely something can be done. You're saying I'll end up like you. So fragile the watcher's mind. So real his memories. Once awakened. How can he sleep? If I'm a week into a past life, how would that have happened? You were reminded of it. Strong memories, lingering lives, they dwell near the surface, waiting to be remembered, waiting to take your mind for their own. 
Meowald sat at his hearth and watched his fire. Watched the wood burn. Then came the memory of another fire and burning wood and screams. Oh, Daddy tell spirit from a memory. Fragmented our memories. Stuck in time. Mindless, cruel, never far. Must be some way to make these memories go away. No. Always there. Always remembered. Can't forget. Can't unsee. I didn't just remember. Someone caused this. They wore masks and spoke of books and keys and a queen. There was a man there. He seemed familiar to me. Keys of lead. Books of burden. Queens that were. Known to me are they. The leaden key. Key? It seems we share an enemy. Assassins and Watcher Wakers both. They certainly keep busy. Uh, what can you tell me about this Leyden Key? Secrets. Secrets and deceptions and schemes. Who knows their answers? Not they. Not they. Crossed them before. Hatred of Watchers. Hatred and fear. Much we see. Threat to secrets. Who is this queen? Woodica. Goddess. Crown shattered and body burned. Binder of oaths and grudge holder. Bearer of justice. But whose? The learning key caused my awakening. Could they undo it? Many secrets do they keep. Unawaken? Mayhap. Who else if not they? Where do I find this thing? City of Defiance. Never far from the Queen. He goes in search of this man. Sleep well. Sleep well. Hold! I knew your will die. Your actions were seen. You would sooner betray us to the Adia land thieves than take orders from me. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't have time for this. Your betrayal is for nothing. Your warnings are lost on these foreigners, and their blood will be Galloway's tribute this night. I have asked the elders for the honor of claiming your head as my first trophy, and they have granted it. Beg for the seeker god to grant you a quick death. Raved out Philothelium. Alright, you. Fury. You. Uh. Shit. <laughs> Let's get your defense up, just yes. in case. Hmm? You assault the old man. You buff everyone. Following your lead. Shoot that. Yeah. Why is everyone stuck? How may I help? Oh, he's not stuck. It's just his duplicate. There's a change in the air of the keep. What was thick and suffocating feels to you somewhat more breathable, as though yielding to a conquering invader. Merwald's body lies inert. You can feel his soul lingering there, uncertain. There's something unique about this soul in this place. A bond formed in a decade in decades of inhabitants and lordship that feels somehow palpable to you. As though even in death, the keep knows its former master, and the former master remembers his keep. Oh, Jesus. Speakers. Speaker to the restless. Mind's eye, the bond seems to you as a frayed rope, ghostly and alive. It's frayed ends, writhing like tight pool and anemones. 
and you find that if you concentrate on it, you have the ability to manipulate its strands. You could repair the rope and give my keep more security. Sever the rope to be uh I could just roll a d6 and one and two will be option one, two and three will be option two and three and one and two is option one, three and four is option two, five and six is option uh three. Where's my do I not have a d6 in there? Excuse me? Why would I not have a d6 in there? Oh yes I do. It's right there. Two, so it's option one. Repair the rope. Frayed pieces twist and fuse as the bond strengthens. The fibers become metal and the rope becomes a chain. You watch as Merwald's soul recedes into the floor, melding with it, spreading thin across it until it is one with the entire place, a silent guardian. Okay. Get all this stuff. Yeah. Is there anything else in here? Oh yeah, there's stuff. The work of a moment. I'll, I'll have it in no time. Do. The work of a moment. Nice. Yeah. All right, let's explore the rest of this area. You cannot wait that older set. I don't want to discuss it. Uh, kind of wants to talk. Poor Mayorwald. He couldn't contend with all that he knew of himself. A cruel fate. It may be my fate too. It may be, but Merwell knew his curse for all that he succumbed to it. Perhaps he'd give you what you need to escape his fate. Seek out these rooms he's mentioned and we may find some of use. Alright. So now we got this mm. little dungeon to figure out. More bugs. Kill them all. Of course, the one person that needs to get it, which you can't. It's always a good sign. Eh, yep, there's plenty of stuff. Brave Dalphilastili. Nice. Well, what's happening here? The shimmering wall of energy extends across the door like a curtain. It repels forward movement and unnatural force. Okay. Brave Dalphilastilim. Jeez.
Just double checking my map here. Okay. So yeah, there's definitely stuff. Crazy. Let's go. Okay. Oh, there's looters down here. You're currently attacking a foe with at least one defense. That is much higher than the accuracy of the character attacking it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> because oh, combat log right there. Deflection, which means what the fuck's deflection dope. <laughs> resistance, but not great crush resistance, which is great. Alright, let's get over here. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Big spoder, big spoder. Okay. Yes. Uh. Hit that spider. Yes. Shoot that spider. Yeah. Rage hey. now. <laughs> Buff. Navaru beyond seek. Here, so you can your allies and of fire. Never mind. It died quicker than I thought it would. <laughs> right. I don't want up there. Wait, do I have a spider pet now? Hold on. <laughs> yes, I do. I'm a tiny spider's pet. here, so let's go. And head back to the It's like your breeches, scholar lot. Uh, I beg your pardon? Nothing. I said nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's talk to... That old watcher. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but it sure wasn't that. You said you had things you wanted to ask him? Nah, it's... Well, it's kind of embarrassing now. I just got a dumb idea in my head is all. Don't know why I thought it'd work. It's funny. 
That's probably the first thing I got my hopes up for in, I don't know, years. At least I got that out of it. Come on, I don't like suspense. All right. Yes, fair is fair, and you did bring me to see him. Those rumors back in Gilded Vale about my brother, Woden, about how he turned against us and fought for Widewin, been on my mind for some time now. The thing about Woden was, he always knew what was right, and that's what he'd do. One day he set out to fight for Deerwood against a man claiming to be our god. So I knew that's what I had to do, too. He was right. And hearing claims that he died fighting for Ray at Saris, that got me worried. Not that he'd chosen the wrong side, but that I had. Didn't seem right what Widewin had in store, but if he really was Aethys, I thought, maybe this whole Watcher would know how my brother died. So I could see if it was true. Like he could, I don't know, read it in my soul or something. Use our connection. Told you it was dumb. I don't think it quite works that way. Of course, I knew the <laughs> truth deep down. The Watcher's not psychic. I think I just had this idea, and the idea made me feel a certain way, and I didn't want to lose that. I shouldn't be starting with watchers. I should start with records. Took you 15 years to figure that out. <laughs> huh. If there was anything written down about it, they have it in Defiance Bay. They got an archive at the palace. All right. You've done a lot for me already, but if you could see fit to pay that archive a visit with me, well, you know. Knowing my luck, the records clerk will go crazy and try to kill me. I'd feel better with you in there with me. And now, Alof. Alof seems lost and die, which is when you draw near, sucking your sharp breath through his teeth. What can I do for you? Are you alright? Of course. Merely processing some of the unusual things we've seen lately. And if Meowald is to be believed, it would seem you have an uncertain future ahead. The searcher is more tired and ravaged to find a lid and key and fast. That does seem like the logical course of action. I shall follow your lead. Something else. Uh, nah, never mind, actually. Hmm. Mm. Let's head back inside and uh, talk to the steward. Sure. I felt Mayor Wald's passing. You slew him. He gave me no choice. It saddens me to hear it. But part of me is grateful to no longer have to wait and worry in darkness. This place has always known its master, long as it's had one. It has a will all its own, which has little to do with the castle and much to do with the land it's built on. It looks to you as Meerwald's successor now, whether you care for it or not. A dubious honor, inheriting a fortress both broken and cursed. But in the right hands, it could be so much more. If you had only seen it in its day, will you... Will you stay? I've always wanted my own key, even if it's a little cursed. <laughs> it is yours. I cannot... Yeah. I will keep now. And you've been traveling to find some supplies. There's been a couple of got Easter. Yeah. I need to get the road prepared. It's time to find his queen of defiance. I'm gonna go there and get started right away in the kind of that area. All right.
quick repair some of the outline structures and these will bring you wealth and recognition, drawing people to your service. Rebuilding your defenses will keep your grounds from becoming overrun. Nice. Has a... Yes. Purchase this first. It's automatically completed because you need it. <laughs> um Let's see. Alright, I need to repair the western. But I need the main keep first, so let's start the main keep. Okay, I can only have one in progress. One prestige for security. Sand actions upgrades. Oh, these are the upgrades. Hirelings. I need a barracks first. Okay. Let's go to the temple of Vortigo. Wait. Kana first. I confess, I was hoping our meeting with Meerwald would go a little differently. But then, you have gained an entire keep. I don't think I've seen anyone inherit land that quickly since Kind the Younger read her father's will. <laughs> oh, I wish I could gone through them. I did come here looking for a new home. The ship floats yet. Might be good news in the end. Whatever else happens. Yes. It will give you a base from which to go searching at least. And then, there are secrets beneath the keep yet. <laughs> With you at the helm, it should be easier to explore the endless paths. Oh, I need... Huh? <laughs> we need sleep, but we can't sleep until the house is repaired. We can't repair the house until I'm done with the keep. <laughs> So I guess we're just gonna make camp right outside here. I mean, what else are we gonna do? Actually, you know what? This is a good place to end it. So, yeah, we made some, we made just some decent progress. Got a lot of lore fit in there, and uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe. Well, if you enjoyed, leave a like. If you want to see more? There's going to be more, so you might want to subscribe for that. You better. I'm watching. You don't see me, but I'm watching. Goodbye.